Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp tour video. I'm here with Davy Jones again. You might remember him from the lighthouse build a little while back. So hello, Davy Jones. Hello. <laughs> and today he's going to be showing us his ship build, which you call the Black Pearl. Yes? Yes, I do. So it's based on the Black Pearl from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Is that correct? It is, yes. And it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome looking. So why don't you sh <laughs> give us the tour. Tell us how you built it and all that kind of cool thing. So, yeah. Yes. So um, keeping in the theme of my characters, uh, with Davy Jones, he is a sailor. So I wanted to create two different Davy Jones characters at different points in their lives. Mm -hmm. So if, if you look at my character compared to the other one, this is actually a much younger, much dapper Davy Jones. This is the mm -hmm. Davy Jones who is still operating as a pirate captain. Oh, okay. So pirate captain has to have a ship. And, you know, I'm a big pirate sailor fan. Um, I just love anything that's nautical. And so Pirates of the Caribbean is definitely one of my favorite film franchises. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing better than to go with than the Black Pearl. So I actually have a model of the Black Pearl that I built by hand. Mm. And so I use that as reference to build this in game. Um, it's not to scale, obviously, but <laughs> it's something to where I wanted to see and, and see what I could do with, with a pirate ship myself to, to have a hand at it and take, take, take a crack at it uh -huh. where I've seen a lot of other people build ships and I've gotten a lot of inspiration and you know, it's kind of weird cause I never had a ship built really before. And you know, it's kind of funny cause people ask me like, Hey, Davy Jones, like, uh, do you have a ship build or, or like, what do you have? And I didn't know what to answer. Cause I'm like, Hmm, I'm a pirate captain and I don't have my own ship. <laughs> <laughs> so, so after seeing a bunch of other ships, I was like, you know what? I think it's time for me to, to take a crack at it and do my own version of what I think that a sailor captain would have. So okay. uh, this is the black pearl. All right. So let's go ahead to the side and I'll kind of walk you through it. Um, just so you kind of know, it does use these stone yeah. um, wallpapers. And the reason why, I actually get this question a lot, the reason why I use the stone is because with the Black Pearl, the, the legend behind the Black Pearl was that it was a sailing vessel that was burnt and sunk into Davy Jones' locker. Mm -hmm. And for Captain Jack Sparrow to get it back, he sold his soul to Davy Jones to resurrect the ship. And so it came back as the Black Pearl. Originally, it was called the Wicked Wench. Oh. And so the Wicked Wench sank, and then the Black Pearl was raised. And so that's why it flies under black flags. And this kind of wallpaper isn't totally black, and it has enough texture to where it looks like it's kind of burnt and aged. And, and it, so it looks like... I mean, it really kind of does look like wood plank, like wood si in a way. It doesn't uh -huh. look like when you make it a boat out of it, it doesn't look like stone. That's not the first thing you think of. You don't think of bricks. You think of wood <laughs> boards. <laughs> so yes. it works. Yeah. And that's what I kind of went for. Like at a distance, it looks like wood enough. Yeah. To where it wouldn't confuse. And then I actually kind of did a two tone because it's not sailing anymore. It's actually in a dry bed over yeah. here at Summersville. So mm -hmm. I had the black kind of like dark gray on top. And then as you see, as it gets more towards the bottom, towards the, the sand yeah. and the dirt, you'll see that it kind of changes color to look like it's been here for a while. It's mm -hmm. kind of just aged and the sand has worn it away mm -hmm. and kind of stained it on the bottom. So that's why I have that two tone surrounding mm -hmm. the entire ship. Um, let's go around to, so these windows, a lot of people ask me, hey, why do you have windows? Well, these are actually for the portholes for the um, cannons that would be here, but I don't have enough budget to put cannons here. So, oh. 
Okay. And the the story kind of behind that is that the ship doesn't sail anymore, so there's no reason to have cannons down there. And so <laughs> it's been repurposed as a home instead. Okay. And so, so there's no cannons, but those were originally the portholes that, that would host the cannons. Um, All right. And then if you come to the front, back to the front, I do have what's called the mast head. So the mast head in the Black Pearl is actually a woman carrying yeah. a, a, a dove. And so up here, this woman's carrying a chalice, but it's the closest thing that I could come up with, and it actually looked absolutely It perfect. does. It looks. <laughs> a figurehead. Yeah, it looks just like one. It's pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And they don't have an angled mast to carry the, the front flags, and so I had to use the stairs. Yeah. Um, but it's the only angle thing that they have in the game that would look like a kind of a makeshift mask. So uh, that's kind of one of the final details I want to talk about in the front of the boat. So okay. if we actually make our way towards the back. Um, so the Black Pearl still had some kind of flair, some finesse added to it. And um, it had this, it had these little, kind of like the masthead, but much smaller, these little ladies like almost like they're hoisting up the uh, the captain's cabin. Yeah. And so what I used instead was I used these kind benches. of uh, stone, stone benches. granite yeah. benches. Yeah. And that adds a little bit of extra kind of stone flair to to give it a little bit of um, yeah decoration. Decoration, yeah. Exactly. And you put them up there with conduits. I actually, yes, I put them up with their conduits. It was. <laughs> It was rather difficult because you have to place the conduit, like you have to place the the bench on top of the conduits, yeah. and then you have to raise the conduits up perfectly parallel to the bow to where they're that height, and then you just build off the conduits, adding those in between. And I had to do that for both sides and the back back here. Wow. It was called called the fantail, and so I had to do that, and it, it took a while to get the, the height right. And then the uh, angle right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, and then the last thing I wanted to add down here is the rudder. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's no longer sailing. So it's it's kind of propped up, and the the water's dried up. So the rudder would be back here, and mm -hmm. there it is, right there. There so. it is. <laughs> all right. Details. So, details. Yeah, yeah, it's all in the details. Um, that's what I wanted to do. Like I've seen a lot of really extravagant fantastic uh fantasy type ships uh -huh. in this game i've seen ones that are flying to ones that are more like barges to you know to a lot of different varieties and right. what i wanted to do is focus on authenticity so i wanted to take a 18th century golden age of piracy sailing galleon and recreate it as mm -hmm accurate as possible in this game and so i i did not you know um forego any details i i tried to okay. capture as many details of a you know, a pirate galleon as, as possible so except for the door um, on the side <laughs> yes so the door on the side was actually the way i did it is it was made shift into a home it's not going to sail anymore oh, so he actually okay. cut he cut part of the boat off to, to, to basically put a door here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's the story here. But I also wanted to do this, so as soon as you come in, you have my vending service. So I'm a pirate captain, so I'm selling all of my treasures and my booty that I collect. Yeah. And so any type of materials or weapons and everything that I collect, I'll put in here. And I'm <clears throat> the type that if you walk into any camp, you should be able to find their vending machine within the first 15, 20 seconds. Right, yes. If, you, if, if you're really having to hobble around and try their vending machine, you're going to give up and just leave. So yeah. I, I figured it should be, you know, prominent and, and right in front of their faces. So you've got a poor, you've got a poor prisoner in the brig here. <laughs> yes, he's been there for a long time. Um, <laughs> Using the scarecrow, especially the one that has the hat and the, and the kind of varnish on it, uh -huh. um, it definitely looks like a person at a distance. And so I thought that that would be a perfect one to, yeah. to make it look like he he's in the hanging break. there. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone to the gallows. Yeah. So 
uh, this is your work area and sleeping and yes so this is the underbelly this is where this is the kind of um, living quarters this is where the the crew would sleep mm -hmm. you have the cots here and then this is also where the first cannon deck would be so this is why the these kind of two sides are open is because this is actually where the cannons would be placed if they oh, were. Oh, okay. So that's why you don't see really anything out here on these two kind of lanes or hallways. I is see. because this is where the cannons would lay. Uh -huh. um, and so I moved everything towards the center. Once Bethesda opens up budget, maybe I can add some cannons and make it look really nice. But I kind of had to sacrifice space down here to make up for it on the upper decks. And... You'll definitely see it when you go up there that there's a lot more detail up on the upper okay. decks because that's what everybody is going to see. Right. So I'll let you lead the way. Okay. C cool. All right. So this is the weather deck or the cannon deck. And so if you actually... Oh, it's... First, yeah. <laughs> there's you got broadsiders right there. in there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So I used the display and I put the broadsider on here. And then I made the railing in a way to where it looks like these cutouts were naturally placed there for the cannons because yeah. that's actually what it would look like. Yeah, We'd have these cool. natural cutouts. So you used cupboards. Yeah. Oh, that cupboard makes for great railing. So Looks like you use it a lot. Have... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, and you if used... you haven't used these railings, they're fantastic. <laughs> I mean, these, uh, these cupboards are fantastic for railings. Yeah. And you use benches and tables for... Um, oh, you can't actually go up those, can you? Yeah, you can. It's it's kind of difficult, but um, to to use for budget, um, I had to make them a little bit taller. So these aren't super functional, but aesthetically, they look really good. They do. <laughs> so they look like stairs. Um, yeah, and and that's what I kind of went for because with my lighthouse, I used the the spiral staircase to where I I lowered the the staircases into it to where you could easily just walk up it mm -hmm. but with these to make up for budget and everything i had to kind of leave them tall so mm. they're not super functional when walking up them you can walk up them it just it takes a second okay. so I, I usually just jump up them yeah um, <laughs> and then uh, you have um this is for the anchor Yes. So this is actually, you'd have each person grab a hold of the the tilt and then they would just roll in a circle and that would raise the anchor and lower the anchor. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, and that's attached to the center mast. And so if you look up to the masts, I do have three full masts. Um, yeah. And then oh, it's starting to get dark. I have all the rigging. You do. That's pretty uh, clever how you did the rigging. And, yeah. and you have crow's nests made out of tables. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the crow's nests are, are made out of the kind of the ornate round table. Yeah. Which looked absolutely perfect for it. And it has that kind of uh, gold leafing. So it looks rich and extravagant and everything yeah. a pirate would have on the ship. <laughs> wow. Just and the rigging alone you... probably takes up a lot of build budget, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> those wires actually do take up their own budget. Too. Yeah. So yeah. I had to be conscious of how many wires I used so I didn't go overboard. But I, I, I had to add the sense of thickness to these masts because if you've ever been on an old sailing vessel or even more of a modern one that still uses sails and, and rope rigging, Mm -hmm. um, they're all over the place. Right. I mean, it literally takes up the entire f top decks. Yeah. And so I wanted to represent that and make it look like it's just organized chaos right. everywhere. Just ropes and, and strings and everything. So everywhere you walked, you had to watch your head. Right. So that's what I wanted to recreate here. It's just everywhere you, you go, you have to watch your head. Ship's wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taking that kind of spindle yeah. and s s centering it uh, with the bars. Yeah, Captain has his own little wet bar up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Don't mind the sinks. <laughs> That's the only thing I can't get rid of. Those little, those little dish sinks. So, 
Yeah, if he wants to wash his hands up here and store some wine bottles, he definitely can. <laughs> rum. <laughs> some rum. Yeah, rum. <laughs> some of that rum. All right, and then you've got Captain's Cabin. Yes, the final. This is the. This is definitely the centerpiece here. Oh, and just a little other thing. Uh, you kind of saw it downstairs. I didn't touch on it, but if you come up here, you'll see that the lantern is actually floating up here to make it look like it's hanging. And I kind of oh, yeah. did the same thing under under the deck too. I noticed that I under loved... the deck. How did you get them up there? <clears throat> did you put them on power armor or what? You can, yeah. Power armor is one of those. Basically, any object that you can lift and mm -hmm. move without an object being attached to it. So power armor is one that does it. If you take the camp module itself, um, if you place anything on your like camp unit uh -huh. and then you move your unit, it'll stay floating. And so oh. that's what I did with that one is that I put a table down, I put the camp on top of it, placed the lantern on top of that, and then just moved everything. And it just happened, happened to be the right height to... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, I had to... I had to makeshift all these different things, like to jerry rig it to the exact height that I needed. So <laughs> it was more than just one table, but oh. just to kind of shorten it. Yeah, it was like a table and then uh, a, a desk and then like a little mat and then like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was like a mountain of junk just to make it that exact height. Because wow. either I would go uh, like an inch too high or like a, an inch too short. And I'm like, Ugh, yeah, got to get that right. So, okay. Um, <laughs> and then on the original Black Pearl, these little, these two kind of uh, pillars here uh -huh. um, on the Black Pearl, they have these really ornate kind of etching um, kind of designs cut into the wood th itself. And so that's what I kind of wanted to represent here okay. is these really ornate uh, logs that were kind of etched into it, so. Okay, cool. Um, but let's go ahead, let's open the door and let's go into the captain's quarters. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you made an organ. Yes, so A that is organ. the centerpiece of this entire <laughs> room. It wanted, I wanted it to be the, the standout piece, the first thing that you see whenever you come in here, the kind of wow factor. And this is the only thing that the Black Pearl didn't have and I took liberties with because with Davy Jones, Davy Jones is actually the captain of the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. And in the movies, the Flying Dutchman has this really ornate organ that Davy Jones plays with his tentacles. Right. <clears throat> and so I wanted to represent that little piece into this ship. And so I built my own using the piano, mm -hmm. the... Um, uh, was it the Mothman cult yeah. type of uh, statues here? And then back here is actually bamboo. These yeah, are the those bamboo little... plants. Yeah, and they look like pipes. They do, <laughs> even though they're green. They the cut <laughs> of them makes it look like they're organ pipes. And so they do. I got the clever idea of building an organ, and it just it just worked as Todd. And how did you get them to be? Stacked, stacked like, like that. that, yeah. So if you, um, it's kind of actually easy. So if you place two that. bamboo, one kind of on top of the other, they'll they'll go on top. Of oh, themselves. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, I see. There's but you can only on do two at a time though. You can't stack the third or the fourth. So the way that I got those is that I literally just stack, I stack two, and then I'll stack another two separately. And then I'll place those other two on top of the other one. Oh, okay. and so that's how. It's, so you have to kind of do it in pairs, and then eventually just build it like a Lego set yeah. as you build those pairs. And so I just had to get the, the 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 distance right between all of them, and mm -hmm. then the mm -hmm. height the height right. And so wow, yeah. And so there you go. There's a pipe organ. Now the only thing I wish is that I wish that it sounded like a pipe organ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds still, more like a, still sounds a like... saloon piano. <laughs> yeah, still sounds like a saloon piano, so. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Cool. And so, um, what's in here then? This is yes, the... so this is actually where the uh, captain will sleep, so uh, this okay. is the sleeping quarters. Very simple, nothing too extravagant. Mm hmm. Um, but I, that, I mean, that's the simple life of captain. He doesn't need a lot in there. Okay. And then if you go to the other side, 
Um, I actually changed the doors because I wanted to keep the ornate doors left for the captain. And then this is actually what the Navy would call a head. Yeah. So this is the bathroom, the head. And so if you walk in here, you know, when you're in the tub and you're, you're kind of relaxing, you want to think like you're on the beach. So I left this beach painting here to make it <laughs> super relaxing. Did and they have uh, bathtubs and toilets like this on ships? I don't think they did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, they sinks. definitely did. <laughs> See, this is why I, I created the story of that it's been grounded. And oh, so it's no so longer sailing. And so he repurposed a bunch of rooms to make it, you know, <laughs> okay. a modern home. And it actually has a functional seat, so I can sit down. Oh, because you glitched a chair into it. Yep. And if you, you would be so kind as to close the door and uh, <laughs> <laughs> not look at me as a captain's doing his duty. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll continue the tour. <laughs> Is that all? I mean, that's the it, right? Yes. So this is the this is it. Uh, it's not a very large build to where you'd be going into a lot of different compartments, but it's the it's, details yeah, that it's really. Yeah, it's cool though. I mean, it's yeah. like really detailed. Yeah, it's detailed. Um, most pirate ships, and I haven't seen very many, but I've seen a couple. Um, they don't do the rigging. Um, yeah, they don't have all these little details. So. And I do have two more things to kind of touch on here. Mm -hmm. um, two small little details. So if you're actually to come around to the captain's chair, you'll see that I have a little hidden surprise for anybody who wants to come in and take my treasure. Oh. <laughs> I got a little blunderbuss waiting for him, which I thought would be a kind of a cool detail. Uh -huh. And then the last part is um, to talk about what was the... I want to say the most difficult, but it was definitely the most time-consuming part of this entire build. Mm -hmm. And it's not the rigging. It's not the ship itself. Oh. It's not the, the blended items or even the pipe organ. The one item that took me the longest to actually place in this ship was the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Because the they're, the, they're on the outside. This, yes. This is how dedicated I am to details in my craft. I, I put myself into a lot of pain because, yes, if you notice, the curtains aren't actually on the right side of the wall. Yeah, they're, they're on, on the, the opposite side. They're on the outside. They don't, yeah. yeah, so they don't clip themselves. So what I had to do was, is for, every, for each and every one of these curtains, I had to place a wall down facing the, the, the inside, place the curtain, and then you're actually able to delete the wall and the curtain will stay. Uh -huh. it, it won't actually go with the wall. Right. But to place the wall backwards, what I had to do was, is I had to build this kind of makeshift uh, stilts or platform on the outside and then place the walls perfectly to where they're floating. So these walls aren't actually attached to the boat. They're floating. Oh. But because they're so close and so perfectly parallel, it actually look like, looks like it's a wall. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just to get curtains so, in. <laughs> yeah, just to get curtains in. I think this alone took me about... Um, in one play session, it would probably take me about three and a half hours to do. Oh my goodness. Um, and I did over the course of two days where I did half of it and then I did the other half. Um, so. I think I would have just not put curtains on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's so it took a man. long time just because the the floor outside, the, the ground isn't even. And so for every single one of these, I had to adjust the height and the angle and, and oh. everything that came with it. And so with each every individual one of these, I had to build its own platform to that's place the curtains a down. So, that's a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So that's the little detail that, you know, a little fun fact behind the building of, of <laughs> what actually was the most difficult thing to place in this is the curtains. Of uh, all things, the freaking curtains. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is cool. Let's go out and get one last look at the whole thing.
Well, that's pretty awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on it. It wasn't as difficult on an engineering perspective as my lighthouse, mm. but it was definitely a really good challenge and I enjoyed every bit of building this ship. Um, and I hope that everybody you know, has as much fun viewing it as much as I did building it, because that's ultimately what I do. I build things to view them almost like as an art piece. Mm -hmm. I want people to see them. And so I hope everybody leaves really nice comments and you know, has some nice feedback for me or anything in the future that you want me to build, you know, that you think that I could tackle. I would yeah. love to hear it. For sure. Give him a challenge, everybody. Give him a challenge. Yes. Give me a challenge. And then I'll feature it on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. And yeah, leave comments. Um, give this video a like so that Davy Jones can know how much you appreciate his build. And we'll see you in the next one. I don't know when that will be, but if you have your own camp tour or your own camp that you would like me to tour on a video like this, you can submit that in the the description below, there's a link to my Discord server down there. Go to the Discord server. You can post um, a, a few screenshots of your camp. If it's a cool, like, really unique camp that has some unique features or decorating or whatever, um, then I'll be interested in doing a tour of it. And only, only post uh, photos, though. Please do a video because I don't have time to watch tons of videos. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So that's it, you guys. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.